The three circle model does a lot for us. It doesn't do everything, but you don't have to do everything with a conceptual model in order for the model to be useful and, and well used. The three circle model, you know, allows you to appreciate the complexity of these systems without being overwhelmed with uh, several or many uh, factors or dimensions of the problem that would stall out decision making. One of the thankful beauties of the model is that it's relatively simple. Anybody can understand it, uh, classify not only people but issues because of it, and everybody can get on the same page relatively quickly in order to discuss and work on issues. There have been attempts to modify the three circles, to add a fourth circle, to add other geometric forms overlapping the three circle model. I've seen quite a few of these attempts and I applaud uh, any attempt to adapt a conceptual model to make it better. And by better, uh, it would mean explaining something more and giving us insights that the three circle model can't give us. For example, the three circle model wasn't developed um, to account for outsiders inside the family business system. There are family members, there are management members, there are owner members, sometimes there are independents, and there's no real place for independents, non-family, non-management, uh, non-ownership in the three-circle model. So where does that go? The three-circle model was never intended to do everything. It had a limited purpose, but a powerful purpose. It is a good idea to continue to try to find conceptual models, frameworks that map the system in a certain way to understand dynamics.